the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Hello kids, how are you today? Fine, alhamdulillah. Today we are going to make a general revision for what we had studied before through doing some selected and enriching exercises. The objectives can be shorted in the following. Number one, revise some words and phrases through listening to the CD player and by making use of the pictures accompanied. Number two, identify the main idea of a short reading text through listening and then read the text once again to find out some specific information or the content of a short reading text. Number three, use the target language we have learned it in writing some simple sentences through some enriching exercises according to the specification of the exam, inshallah ta'ala. Now we come to objective number one, identify some words and phrases through listening to the CD player and by making use of the pictures accompanied. I'm going to play the CD player and you are required to repeat after it. Listen and repeat the following words. Omelette. Omelette. Burger. Burger. Lettuce. Lettuce. Pizza. Pizza. Lemonade. Lemonade. Water. Water. After listening to the CD player, I'm going to ask you some simple questions about them. Which food mentioned above is healthy and which one is unhealthy? Yes, omelette and lettuce are healthy, but pizza and burger are unhealthy. Question number two, what do you need to make an omelette? Yes, we need eggs, very good. Number three, what do we need to make salad? We need lettuce and tomato, of course. Now we come to another part, another group of words we had studied before. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat the following words. Sick. Sick. Kick. Kick. Quick. Quick. Cloudy. Cloudy. Rainy. Rainy. Sunny. Sunny. Very good. After listening to the CD player, I want you to look at the three pictures in front of you and read and then cross the odd one out. Sick, kick, banana. Yes, banana. Very good. Another example. Sick, egg, kick. What is the odd one? Yes, the word egg. Now we come to another group of words we had studied before. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat the following words. Get up. Get up. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to school. Go to school. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Jump. Jump. Hump. Hump. After listening to the CD player, I want you to look at the pictures in front of you and they tell me what time is it in picture number one? It's six o'clock. Very good. What time does this boy get up at six o'clock? He gets up at six o'clock. What time does he go to bed? Picture number two. Yes, he goes to bed at six o'clock, at nine o'clock. Yes, what time does he go to school? He goes to school at 7 o'clock. Very good. Isn't this well on the time? What time is it? These three words have the same rhyme. U, M, B, um. Jump. Okay. Hum. Bum. So, if I ask you to think of a, a, a word that has the same rhyme, it is bump. إذا نحن عندنا ثلاث كلمات لها نفس 
مقطع صوتي hump jump bump very good now we come to do affirmative assessment activity number one in your notes look and circle yes or no is it letters yes or no yes very good number two is it a horse yes or no no very good is it an omelet yes or no yes very good great job now we come to another exercise affirmative assessment and you will enriching exercises notes activity number two look read and match i like to drink lemonade it is healthy yes very good picture number two in the middle number five i don't like burger because it is unhealthy food yes picture number one very good the close-up is between the museum and the school very good Now we come to objective number two, which is to identify the main idea of a short reading text through listening and making use of the pictures accompanied. And then we are going to read the text once again to find out some specific information or the content of a short reading text. I want you to look at the pictures in front of you and try to answer the following simple question. Question number one, a boy or a girl? A girl, very good. What food and the fruits can you see in the pictures? Yes, we can see cheese, bread, apples, pears, and mango. Very good. Number three, what do you think? The girl wants to make, yes, she wants to make a pizza. Now, what does she need to make a sandwich? Of course, she needs bread. Now, we come to the text. I'm going to play the CD player, and you are required to listen to the CD player. Then I'm going to ask you some more comprehension questions. My name is Sarah. I like sandwiches, but there isn't any bread. I want some pizza, but there isn't any cheese. Oh, there are apples, pears, and a mango. I can make fruit salad. My name is Sarah. I like sandwiches, but there isn't any bread. I want some pizza, but there isn't any cheese. Oh, there are apples, pears, and a mango. I can make fruit salad. Very good. After listening to the silly player, I'm going to ask you some more comprehension questions. What is the name of the girl? Yes, Sarah. Question number two, what does she like? Sandwiches. Question number three, why can't she make a sandwich? Because there is not any bread or cheese. Question number four, what can she do? She can do fruit salad. Which fruit are there? Apples, pears, and mango. Very good. Now we come to do affirmative assessment activity number three. بنات الآن إلى تمرين من تمرين الإسرائيلي الموجود عندك. Uh, read the text and answer the questions. My name is Sarah. I like sandwiches, but there is not any bread. I want some pizza, but there is not any cheese. Oh, there are apples, pears, and a mango. I can make fruit salad. Question number seven. Sarah likes the right, true or false. Next up, Sarah likes sandwiches. True, very good. There is some bread. True or false? False, very good. There are apples, pears, and a mango. True or false? True, very good. Now we come to the last question. Are there any banana in the fruit salad? No, there are not. هذه الأجهات بتاعنا.
Merci. Now we come to objective number three, which was to use the target language. Uh, the target language we had learned to ask about the weather and the time. I want you to look at the pictures and they tell me what time is it? It's seven o'clock. Very good. What time does this boy get up? He gets up at seven o'clock. What time do you get up every day? I get up at five to perform doom prayer as I'm a Muslim. Now another picture. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. What time does this boy go to school? He goes to school at eight o'clock. What time do you go to school? I go to school at half past six. من المثالين دول نفهم إن إحنا نسأل عن الوقت باستخدام كلمة what time is it والجواب it's one o'clock it's two o'clock it's three o'clock and so on okay okay now to ask about the weather we can say what is the weather like or how is the weather in answering في الإجابة على such question we can say it is hot it is cold it's sunny It's cloudy, it's windy, it's rainy. مهم جدا ان انت تراجع مثل هذه الكلمات وتعرف كيف يمكن السؤال عن الطقس والاجابه عليه باستخدام هذه الكلمات. Hot, cold, sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy. Now we come to do affirmative assessment activity number four in your enriching exercises notes. Look, read, and match. What time is it? It's six o'clock. Yeah, very good. The picture in the middle. What time does he go to bed? He goes to bed at nine o'clock. Picture number one. How is the weather? It is sunny. The last picture. Very good. Now we come to do another exercise in the same way, according to the specification of the exam. Is it cloudy? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. Is it windy? Yes or no? No. Does he get up at six o'clock? Yes. Very good. Agreed. Now we come to closer of the lesson. Label the picture. مهم جدا إن أنت تكون حافظ معاني الكلمات وتعرف تكتبها لوحدك. على سبيل المثال الكلمة الأولى كلمة hump H U M B. الكلمة الثانية كلمة jump G U M B. كلمتين متشابهين. الفرق بينهما كلمة H في الأولى والثانية J J jump. Windy water. نحفظ هذه الكلمات ب spelling طبعا. عشان بتكتبها في الامتحان لوحدك إذا جات لك هي أو غيرها يعني. Fill in the spaces rainy zoo mood. Let's go to the فراغ to do shopping center. Yes, let's go to the mood. Very good. Number two, let's go to the فراغ to see animals. Let's go to the zoo to see animals. Very good. Number three, the weather is windy and rainy. يبقى الإجابات مول زو رين. Very good. بعد كده ممكن يجي لك صورة تكتب عليها جملة. فمثلا write a sentence. You can say this boy goes to school or he is a student or I go to school. يعني زي ما أنت تستطيع أن تكتب. He goes to school. Thank you very much.